Welcome back to the channel. I've already opened up Mosaic, so we don't have to go through the process of opening up a brand new job, naming the job, and, and working through the settings. What I wanted to spend time today was going through what I would say is one of the most powerful parts of a software program like Mosaic. In most cases, if you go to a big box store and you sit down with a designer, they're going to you know, ask, well, what's the space that you have available within your, your room? And if you have a six foot space and you wanted to put in a vanity base cabinet and a bank of drawers and maybe fill it in with whatever else is available, they may come in and say, okay, well, we'll drop a 36 inch base cabinet in for your vanity and then put in an 18 inch bank of drawers and then another cabinet that's also 18 inches to fill that space. And in most cases, that's completely fine. In my situation, as a cabinet maker and as also the guy that goes out and does its own installs, I would prefer to make this one cabinet. So that way I only have to carry in one cabinet, I only have to level one cabinet, and I don't have to deal with tying three cabinets together. So what I wanted to show you today was how I would go about doing the exact same look and feel that you might get when you go to a big box store to have them design your cabinets, and how I would do it if I were to talk with the customer and design that for them. So what I'll do is I've already drawn the wall exactly the same size as the previous one. I will open that one up and then I will make sure that I'm selected my face frame cabinets. That's what I'm going to choose from. From there, I'm just going to grab any base cabinet. It doesn't really need to be anything special. I've chosen a tray base cabinet. I will drag that thing all the way to 72 inches. Now, Right now, it does not look like anything near what the previous one did, but we'll get there. So I'll double click to open that guy up. I will click on the face tab and then I will select reset. And that basically removes anything that was inside that cabinet as a default. From there, I'm gonna go into the interior and I'm gonna make three sections. The first section I want to make is 16 and a half inches wide. I'm going to create a second section, also 16 and a half inches wide. And that now will conclude the interior part of this particular cabinet. I'll go back to the face side and I'm going to put uh, face frames where those particular partitions are within that cabinet. So I'm going to make this guy 15 and a half inches wide. I'm going to add a secondary piece of face frame also at 15 and a half inches wide. So now I have my three, can, three sections to match what was done previously in that other uh, drawing. I'm also going to make a few more changes to this, so bear with me. I'm going to split this and I'm going to make a five inch tall uh, panel, not a drawer. I'm going to add a five inch drawer on the left side. I'm going to add a five inch drawer on the right so that they're seamless and it looks all the same going across. Then I'm going to add three more drawers to make that drawer bank. I'm going to make them equal. So now those guys are added in and they're all five and th uh, three sixteenths inch tall. I'm going to change this from one drawer, which for some reason the system does that by default. I'm going to change it to a pair of drawer, pair of doors, and I'm going to leave that guy as a door. I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and now you can see that that is the exact same as the previous. And now I'll show them side by side, and you tell me which looks better. A few things to point out. Since these are three individual cabinets, you will see a seam where those cabinets are joined. In my cabinet that I designed, you will not see a seam because the face frame is all one solid unit. You also see that the spacing between the doors and the drawers to the right of them is rather large. In my cabinet, everything is the same. 
One other thing that I like to do, and I'll show you exactly how to do it here in a moment, is I don't like the look of having the face frame be flush to the side of the cabinet. Um, a lot of times, if it doesn't fit on there perfectly, you might see a slight gap. But if you're painting your cabinets, um, you could fill it with wood filler and, and not have a problem. But again, you still see the difference between the face frame wood and the plywood. What I like to do is make a miter. And so I can go into my parameters, select end miter frame, click yes. And now that cabinet, instead of having the face frame butt to the end, like in the previous version, now my side panel is now mitered with my face frame all the way across. I'll go back to the 3D version, again, looking at how it looks from the factory and how my cabinet looks. Side panel mitered to the face frame all the way down. It's a nice clean look. So there you have it. Very quick video just showing you how we would make a large cabinet out of three individual cabinets. I have made an eight foot long cabinet, probably won't do it again, but in general, if I can make a six foot cabinet, I will. Hope you liked this video. If you don't mind subscribing, I'd appreciate it. If you have any comments or anything that you wanna see, put those comments below and I'll review them. And if I can answer the questions in the comments, I'll do so. If I can't and I need to create another video, I'll absolutely do so. Thanks for watching.